going on guys? We are headed to the gym. Here's what we got for y'all today on the YouTube. Um, gonna show y'all a, a workout. I'm gonna talk to y'all about a few things um, that's just on my mind. Some transparent stuff that people need to hear um, regarding what, whatever you're going through in life, whether it's some kind of goal you're trying to achieve, whether it's competing, whether it's just starting your health journey, whatever that might be. Um, gonna have the workout. Then I'm going to talk to you after the workout. That's going to be the video for the day. I hope you get something from this, and I hope you can learn something. I hope that you realize this is very transparent, it's very real, and there are little bits and pieces that you can take away that it can motivate you, inspire you um, to do in your own life towards your own goal. Uh, this is week seven, I think, of their Summer Shredding Classic Prep Series. Hope you all have enjoyed it so far. I've really enjoyed putting it out there. Me and Abby both have. Uh, it's been a fun journey already. I can't wait to see the end result uh, to wrap up this series, but hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Always please like, subscribe, share this video. It really mean a lot to me. Let's get after it. What's going on YouTube? Listen, today I have very serious talk that I want to discuss, you know, some things, recent things that's happened in life. I just had a friend, I call him a friend. He was my RA as a freshman in college. Amazing guy, full of life, had everyone laughing, hilarious. Everyone loved him. I found out this past week that he died. 30 years old, he's my age, from obesity-related health issues. He was very, very obese. Um, and, you know, when you, when you think about that, 30 years, he should have had... 40, 50, 60 years left to be married, to have kids, to have grandkids, to share lifelong memories. Society is failing people like that. Uneducated, unqualified coaches, pyramid scheme, garbage companies. They are failing people like that. They're failing society. And what we see is parents are getting unhealthier. Their kids are getting unhealthier even at an earlier age. So obesity is becoming more rampant at very earlier ages of the kid's life. That's leading to tons of mental health issues, not just physical. This is a very serious, serious problem. And it just kills me and it hurts me to see this because this is why I went and got the degree. This is when I went and got the certification. This is why I went and I've learned, dedicated my life to learning about the, the human body you know, how nutrition and training affects you mentally, physically. It's because I want to see people live higher quality lives. I want to see them live longer with their family, you know, their kids, their grandkids. You know, my, my nieces and nephews are my entire world. I want to be active with them, healthy with them. I also want to teach them the right ways to live. Like I want them to understand health and wellness. Like I love training them. I love getting them outside to do activities. That is one of the reasons I'm so passionate about doing this. I wanted to talk about something that has been on my heart and my mind a lot and people need to hear this crap because it's only getting worse. It's only getting worse. Obesity is just climbing. There's there's no midline, it's not falling off. No, obesity is just going like this in the last 30 years. There, I think it's like a 68% obesity rate or 70%, something insane. Your health is important, parents, you are the example you need to set for your children. It is up to you to teach them or to, for one, hire someone to learn a, a high quality, healthy lifestyle. That's the first thing. Two, it's your responsible to teach your kids how to live that lifestyle so they in turn continue living it and have physical and mental health as a priority and then they can in turn pass that down to their children this is the only way that we're going to be able to combat the obesity crisis that we are facing this is very passionate to me of teaching others about their health um in living the best quality life they can live i really wanted to just get this off my chest you know especially i had that person that just passed away this week you know that that could have been prevented with with healthy a uh, lifestyle if he would you know adapt that and lived it you know, and that's sad, you know, that, that's, I hate to see that um, because we get one life here on earth, um, you know, to impact the next generation and everyone around us. Uh, I hope this is transparent and, and 
y'all can take away something from this. Uh, but that's what we got for this week. I'm going to be showing y'all some footage of the, the workout coming next. I'm deep in prep. We got five and a half weeks left, or we got six weeks left actually. And working as hard as I can. Uh, I'm trying to push it to the highest limit that I can to be ready for this show. I'm excited. I can't wait to get out there and do it. Hope this helps someone. I hope y'all got something from this. This is my, uh, my tech talk. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video, and I can't wait to see y'all on the next one. So, lat pull downs, exercise one. Common mistake people do is they let your body ride up and let the tension on the lats let go with the scapula. Okay? So, what I do is I pull the scapula back, slight lean, and stay in that position. Bring it straight to the chest. Elbows coming down to your side as much as they can. And even when it gets heavy, do not let momentum take place. Still stay strict as you can with it until form breaks. That's when you know you need to stop the set. <laughs> you sure it's on? Did you hit the button? All right. So this is exercise two. We're gonna be doing a single arm. Single arm row, okay. Reason I always do single arm on these and not a bar, I may it'll get the elbow further back so I'm getting more range of motion, so stretching the lat. Really good idea. Whichever arm you're pulling with, put kick that leg back, and then you can brace on the opposite side so you stay more upright and rigid. So you're here, let it stretch, pull back. That got super freaking heavy. That was heavy. <laughs> All right, so this is exercise three. Um, using the Smith machine. So it's basically a variation of a bent row, but on a bent row, you're gonna see you're more bent over at an angle rowing up. So this, people usually call this like a Dorian row, which is after Dorian Yates, um, who probably had the best, one of the best backs, if not the best back ever on stage. Uh, it's where you're at a slightly less angle, okay? Because it saves the erectors a little bit more from fatiguing. Um, and that's why we're using the Smith machine here too, to kind of help control the weight since we're already kind of fatigued. You're gonna see, not bent over all the way, rolling up into the hips. Again, let it come all the way down with our arms are lengthened. You get that stretch on the back, and row up. Another good thing to have would be straps so grip doesn't uh, cause you to go to failure if you can't grip, which I forgot mine. Um, but that'd be another thing you could use to help get more efficiency out of this exercise. Fourth exercise, gonna be doing a back extension 
with a row, okay? But basically just kind of throwing every, every part of the back in together, okay? Um, you're gonna have the erectors, the low back with the back extension, and then you're gonna have the plate extending fully with the lats and contracting. So you're, we're basically hitting full back here, okay? That's, that's a good way to do a finishing movement here. Kind of exhaust every single thing that you got. And it's no fun. All right, final movement we're doing for back. Gonna be a chest supported row. The reason for it, because we have the most support. So we don't have to stabilize in position. So you're able just to rest on the support and just let the back do every single motion, all right? So we're able to get a ton of volume in. It's really effective to end this workout. You're gonna see we got two position handles. We're gonna be here. That's gonna be when you row in to your side, focus more primary lat. Then after that, we'll drop and then we'll do, and then you'll see the elbow position there coming out. It's creating more of a rear delt focus, okay? So it's a great way to just finish completely um, the full area of the back to finish today. So this is it for week seven. Thanks for coming. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Love y'all. God bless. Peace.